A while back, I made a video about my mom's deviled eggs, and that's become one of my most popular videos. So today, I'm going to share another one of her recipes, because I'm going to be showing you how to make my mom's potato salad. Now, my mom passed away over nine years ago, and in the interim, really haven't had her potato salad. And so it's time, I think, really to sort of bring back that recipe. She grew up on a farm in North Dakota, moved to Minnesota, and so the recipes they used were very basic, but she added her own touches to it. So the first thing we're gonna get made is the dressing for this potato salad. We're gonna start with two and a half cups of mayonnaise. Use your favorite mayonnaise. To this, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of cracked black pepper, two teaspoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of white vinegar. Now you could use a cider vinegar in this, but she really just used the white vinegar. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of yellow mustard. Now I'm just squirting this from the container. You can measure it out more precisely if you want, but also this is one of those ingredients you can adjust up and down, depending on how much mustard you like in your potato salad. One, two. And we're gonna whisk this all together. Let's go ahead and get a little taste here. That tastes good. Reminds me exactly of my mom's potato salad. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our dry ingredients chopped up. Now everyone's mother, or grandmother, aunt, uncle, father, grandfather, anybody has their favorite potato salad recipe. And to everyone, it's the best potato salad in the world. And you know what? Everybody's right. To me, this was the best potato salad in the world. And my mom used two stalks of celery, no more than that. We're gonna go ahead and split these down the middle. And we're gonna give them a chop. Just like that. We're gonna go ahead and get these off of here. Now we're gonna move on to our onions. My mom didn't use whole onions like a white onion or a yellow onion. She used sort of the white end of a green onion. So first thing I wanna do is just take off a little root end here, and we're just gonna thinly slice these. And there is some of the green left in this, but she removed it basically before the stalks started splitting. That's where she'd stop. It's not a lot of onion, but she said you didn't need a lot. Just like that, let's move on to our potatoes and our eggs. Now my mom used russet potatoes sometimes and red potatoes other times when she could get them. We're using red potatoes today, two and a half pounds that have been boiled and cooled down in the refrigerator, skins on. She did it with skins on, sort of a rustic potato salad and I love that. If you don't want skins, you can take the skins off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you on a few of these potatoes how she did this. There are some small ones and some big ones. There were varying sizes when she made this. Like I said, she learned to make this on a farm. So they used what they had. Everything wasn't uniform. So I'm gonna take a potato, cut it in half, flip it over, cut those in half, then cut those in half. Now that's about the size she would use, kind of an inch size, maybe a little bit bigger. If you want them smaller, you can chop them smaller. Bigger, leave them bigger. Now on these bigger potatoes, it's gonna take a little bit of a different cut because they're not gonna cut just in half and half and half. We're actually gonna cut them into thirds first. So you end up with three pieces. Then those are gonna be the same thing. Cut them in half, cut them in half, 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 and half, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these finished up and then we're gonna move on to our eggs. Now for the eggs, I have six hard boiled eggs here and we're just going to chop these up. We're not gonna really break them apart because when you start mixing them up in that dressing with the potatoes and everything else, they'll start to break up on their own. So we're just gonna break them in half, 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 knock them in thirds, whatever you want. Get these the size that you want. My mom would break them down about like this. So you'd have you know, fairly good sized chunks of egg in there. And of course the yolk is gonna fall out as you mix it around. All right, I'm gonna finish chopping up these eggs and then we're gonna build my mom's potato salad. So here's our bowl with our potato salad dressing. We're just gonna start adding our ingredients. Potatoes first. I'm gonna give those a mix before we add anything else. So 
and start getting everything coated in here. Now, if you're curious about the amounts of ingredients, if you didn't catch it while I was talking and making this video, you can check out the video description below. There are lots of links in there and information on the amounts I used. Let's go ahead and add our eggs in. I'm gonna mix these. And you wanna get this until the bright yellow of those yolks isn't really showing much anymore. And again, with this stuff, you can make the potatoes as big as you want, as small as you want. This is my mom's recipe. Time for our celery and our green onion whites. Now I know some people add lots of different things to their potato salad, like relish, things like that. If you have a favorite uh, potato salad recipe, drop it in the comments below. You go ahead and share it. Maybe someone else will try and make it. I've actually made some things that people have shared in the comments before because it just sounded so good. Also, if you're enjoying this video, enjoy my other videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell to make sure you get notifications. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help and it makes me feel good. Now, one of the keys my mom said once she made her potato salad is she would refrigerate it for at least an hour, but preferably more than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with some plastic wrap put it in the refrigerator, and I'll see you back here in a couple hours when we taste. And here it is, my mom's potato salad. Sprinkled some paprika on there, as you saw. She always did the same thing. That's kind of traditional. Not everybody does it, I know, but it's sort of one of those almost cliches, you know, sprinkling paprika on potato salad. And, well, she did it and it tastes good. So I'm not wasting any time. It's time to taste. And I'm just digging in right here. Get a nice piece with some of the paprika on it. Mmm, that is so good, so memorable. It takes me back to every time my mom made potato salad. Just wonderful. The addition of those sliced whites of the green onions the celery, nice little bit of texture there. My mom also didn't overcook the potatoes so they were mushy. They're just tender. You could always cook them more if you want them to be like really soft and almost mashed a bit, but she liked them like this, I like them like this. Egg in there, just perfect. Everything in here just works. And as I said, everybody's mother or grandmother or some relative makes the best potato salad in the world. And it's true, it's a connection we have to part of our past. Those are memories that are made through food. And I remember all this, my mom making it, sitting down as a kid at a barbecue and eating this. For me, it's perfection. So maybe you have your own potato salad recipe that was left to you by your mother, your grandmother, some other relative. That's wonderful. Cherish that. Make it. If you don't have one, give my mom's potato salad recipe a try. This one's for you, mom. <laughs>